D2TOS is this one. Log T, differential no log T. I'm doing directly one point D. Differential of sine T plus bit plus sine is cos T. This is nothing but 1 plus T cos T upon T. Taking T also. This is first. Now D by DT or D D T of pi is again addition. So e raised power t differentiation is e raised power t. The differentiation of cos t is minus sin t. This is nothing but e t minus sin t. Second. Okay. So obtaining d by dx, therefore this implies that d by dx is nothing but d by dt of the dx dt. So this is d by dt is this e t minus sin t divided by okay this one 1 plus t cos t and this t which in the denominator will come in the numerator t so t into e t minus sin t upon 1 plus t cos t this is the final answer the answer is not given but this is a position only okay so this is the sixth question we have done now let me take the seventh and other Okay, so seventh question is the seventh. Seventh talks about again parametric equation if x equal to a theta plus sine theta. Here theta is the parameter. Okay, or they are expressed in terms of parameter theta. And y is a cos theta. Again, find out dy by dx. We are differentiating with respect to theta. So differentiating these or it with respect to theta, we get this is dx d theta is equal to a constant. Differentiating of theta is one because we are differentiating with respect to theta. When theta differentiating with respect to theta is one, y differentiating with respect to y is one x difference with respect to x1 any variable with respect to the same variable is one always differentiation of theta is one the definition of cos sin theta again cos theta okay and d by d theta is nothing but a into difference of cos theta is minus sin theta so let me write this minus a sin theta this is the second so dividing second by first we can obtain now dividing the idea second by first we obtain dy dx is nothing but dy d theta dx d theta which is this must minus a sine theta divided by a 1 plus cos theta now in this case theta cancelled out for the a cancelled out now minus sin theta again i have to express in terms of its expression this is nothing but minus 2 sin theta by 2 angle into cos theta by 2 so we know that sin 2 theta is 2 sin theta cos theta trigonometric expression and 1 plus cos theta again 1 plus cos 2 theta that is 2 cos square theta by 2 in this case 1 plus cos theta so 2 cos square theta by 2 so let me write in the denominator cos square theta y2 which are the two expressions since we know that sin 2 theta is nothing but sin theta into cos theta and cos 2 theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1 if i take minus 1 to this side in 1 plus cos 2 theta it will be 2 cos square theta so these two expressions are used here Okay, so we can obtain here to cancel out once cos theta cancel out. We get minus 10 theta y is the final answer minus sine theta y. 10 theta y. The no answer is given. Alright, so find we have this. Now, eighth question. <coughs> now let me solve that eighth question. Okay, eighth one is we obtain eighth question is if 
here x is 3 cos theta minus cos 3 theta okay and the y is a and the y is 3 sin theta 3 sin theta similar type sin 3 theta minus sin 3 theta okay then prove that here we have to answer it given this is very interesting prove then theta d by dx sorry d by dx is tan 2 theta this is tan 2 theta we have to prove that d by dx is d by dx is dx d by dx is tan 2 theta this we have to prove let me prove it. So expressing sorry or uh, differentiating these two functions, these two equations with respect to theta in this case. Differentiating these with respect to theta we get dx d theta is equal to three minus sine theta. Okay, with minus sine. Now cos 3 theta differentiation is minus sin 3 theta minus sin 3 theta into now 3 theta is not theta differentiating theta again 3 theta again because not theta only the 3 theta so this is will be minus sin 3 theta this is plus sin minus minus plus 3 for theta differentiation is 1 only 3 constantly taken out this is sin 3 theta sin theta okay the first so this is 3 minus 3 sin theta plus 3 sin theta okay this is the first equation that we take and d by d theta is 3 differentiation of sin theta is called theta again the similar type differentiation of sin 3 theta first is cos 3 theta the definition of 3 theta is 3. We have this text first 3 cos theta minus 3 cos 3 theta is the second. So obtaining d by dx divide second by first or dividing by d. Second by first we get second by first we get d by d theta or d dx d theta which is nothing but d by d theta is this much 3 cos theta minus 3 cos d theta divided by this one minus 3 sin theta plus 3 sin 3 theta Okay, so three, 3 can be cancelled out. Let me do this here. Let me do this here. It will be taking 3 common. So remaining is cos 3 theta. Cos theta minus cos 3 theta divided by in the denominator we have this positive sign. At put this positive function first sin 3 theta minus sin theta minus sin theta, three theta. okay so now let me find out and the formula which is you now cos theta minus cos 3 theta this is cos a minus cos b the formula we know that is cos a minus cos b equal to put here cos uh, this is a minus so this is 2 sine a plus b by 2 into sine b minus a by 2 if it is positive with plus sign then it is second sign is b minus a by 2 if it is minus sign before the function then we write here a minus b by 2 this is the formula and second formula sine a minus sine b and we know that sine a minus sine b is 2 
cos first, cos a plus b by 2 into sin a minus b by 2. Okay, so this, these are the two formulae which we are using here, cos a minus cos b, that means 2 sin theta plus 3 theta upon b, that means 2 theta into sin now this b minus a, 3 theta minus theta means 2 theta upon 2, that means theta only divided by denominator sin 3 theta, that means 2 cos first a plus b, 3 theta plus theta, 4 theta by 2, that means 2 theta into 3 theta minus theta into sin 3 theta minus theta, 2 theta by 2, that means theta only so sin 2, 2 cancel out, sin theta, sin theta cancel out this is sin 2 theta from cos 2 theta, that means tan 2 theta. For 2 theta equal to tan 2 theta. This we know that sin theta from cos theta is tan, tan theta, tan 2 theta. Okay, this is the final answer. We have offered this, we have proved. So this is proved. Now, let me take the ninth question. Okay, ninth question is the ninth question, 10th, 11th, 12th. Okay, all these questions let me solve. Ninth question is if x equal to a cos t plus log of cos t plus log of 10 t by 2, 10 t by 2 and 2. Written to by two and y is a y is a sin t of and so root d by dt divided so d by dx is nothing but tan t. This here. Now let me take this. Okay, this kind of question here. Now let me take this. So first dx differentiate these with respect to t we get dx dt differentiating first one dx dt a constant outside cos t differentiating minus sin t plus differentiating log t first one upon tan t by 2 into differentiation of tan t by 2 that is 1 upon 1 plus t by 2 what is here but 1 plus t sorry t by 2 is not t differentiation of t by 2 that means t is 1 upon 2 I have okay, differentiated it directly now let me express this again this is a sin t minus sin t plus tan t 1 upon tan t I can write it as cos t by 2 and uh, multiplied by 2 and this is into 1 upon 1 plus t square by 4 t square by 4 ok so this we have to prove yeah divided t tan t so what we obtain here this is nothing but let me write it again by writing this 4 taking the same 4 plus t square or this is minus sin t yes, 2 plus 1 upon tan t by 2 into 2 into 4 upon 4 plus t square taking the same this is 2 and cancel out one of these will obtain minus sin t okay minus sin t plus yeah this is 2 upon 4 plus t square into 10 t by 2 this is let me take first equation the second one differentiating y with respect to t so dy dt be nothing but a cos t this is second equation ok now let me substitute this ok 
dividing of second by first so dividing second by first we get dividing second by first we get to d by dx to d by dx is nothing but d by dt oblique d f dt which is equal to a cos t in the numerator divided by in the denominator we have okay if i take 4 plus t square common it can be 10 t by 2 okay further it can be explained first let me write here a minus sin t okay and this is plus 2 upon is 2 upon 2 cos t by 2 i have expressed 10 t by 2 as sin t by 2 cos t by 2 cos t by 2 in the then note that we have 4 plus t square into sin t by 2 ok so if I take 4 plus t common now let me solve it here ok so that is nothing but dy dx which we are obtaining dy dx is equal to a cos t divided by ok and divided it is tan t a sin t by the ok so I'm just whether this is not wrong ok this is a a cancelled out and in the denominator we have minus sin t Okay, plus two this cos t by two. If I take this as LCM, so let me first start it on cos t by two divided by four plus t square in one bracket and another bracket sin t by or in multiplied by sin t by 2 ok so if I solve it further it will be multiplied by this cos t by 2 ok then and we have to reach up to 10 t by 2 10 t so the answer is 10 t okay. it can be reached up to that I'm just checking whether answer is right or is wrong. This question is given as but I'm going to pick up. Okay. So it's log 10 t by 2 of problem by a sin t 10 t. Now let me solve it. So in the denominator for the unit we have cos t divided by minus sin t. Okay, we can express this as sin t by cos t by 2 cos t by 2 can also be cancelled out so it will be minus sin t by 2 we have to reach up to 10 t by 2 for 10 t by 2 if i take lcm so 4 plus t square will come in the numerator so it will be 4 for 10 t into sin t by 2 i have taken lcm into 4 plus t square Why is it? I'm sorry. 10 t by 2. Why I have differentiated in this way? I'm sorry. So differentiation was wrong. I think I have taken it as inverse function. I'm sorry. Let me again differentiate the second one. I think I have taken this as one on log t and 10 t by 2 is second square t by 2. I'm sorry. The function was easier one. I have taken that as considered it as then inverse t by 2, I'm sorry. Let me again differentiate d by dt. This was wrong one. d by dt is, uh, okay, d by dt, this was this one, a minus sin t 
cost is okay. But this one, I, have, I think, are differentiated from me in the first, first attempt. Let me do this again. This is 1.10 t by 2, and definition of 10 t by 2 is second t square t by 2, and differentiation of t by 2 is 1.2. This is of this kind. I'm sorry. You are easier question, minus sin t, plus this is sec square t by 2. Okay, so we will obtain this as 1 upon 2 into sin t by 2 upon cos t by 2, cos t by 2 will come in the numerator, into this is second square t by 2, that means 1 upon cos square t by 2, 1 cos square t by 2, and this cos t by 2 cancel out. Okay. So we have obtained minus sine t plus this is in the denominator we have 1 upon sine t by 2 into cos t by 2. This is nothing but 2 sine theta cos theta is sine theta. Alright. This is a minus sine t sorry. <laughs> I have taken this as 10 inverse t by 2 answer. So, wrongly assumed. Sorry, that part. The mind was not present at the moment. So, I uh, took it wrongly. Sorry. This is sin t and this is 1 sin, sin t only. Okay, so this is a minus sin is square t plus 1 divided by sin t. So, this is nothing but a. Now, 1 minus sin square theta is cos square t divided by sin t. Sorry. So simple question marks. <coughs> now dividing this. This is second. Now dividing second by first one. So we obtain we obtain d by dx is nothing but d by dt oblique dx dt. Sorry. This is a cos square t divided by sin t. Okay, and in the denominator we have a cos t. Sorry, this one. So it was again I'm doing the sum b. So here d by dt is is cos t only while dx this was second one the first one was wrong so dx dt is this value a cos square t upon sin t sorry this is i don't know why it is making me puzzled dx dt d by dx d, dx dt oh this one in the denominator this is in the numerator. A cos t in the numerator divided by this. A cos square t divided by sin t. So sin t will come in the numerator. A cos t, one cos t cancel out. This is sin t upon cos t. I'm sorry. So simple question it was. Thank you, but due to misconception, I took it first and then I took it as. Uh, it was value of x, but I took it as y, so that was only done. So, this answer was easy. Even d, <coughs> d was finally 10 t. It's easier question, but I don't know why I have taken this in a, a wrong conception. Okay, I took it as 10 inverse t by 2. With 10 inverse t by 2, I took it. Now, 10th question. 10th <coughs> question is if. Again, x is nothing but 1 minus t square upon 1 plus t square and y is 2t divided by 1 plus t square. Here again, some assumption, trigonometric assumption can make it easier. Okay? And we have proved that d by dx is, what is d by dx? Is t square minus 1 divided by 2t. Okay, this is 10th question. D by dx, we have proved that is nothing but t square minus 1 upon 2. Okay, so the dx dt is differentiating. Right. 
differentiating these with respect to d we get dx dt is this much or before differentiating let me assume on computing step i don't know why now let me that group given there assume that that d is nothing but tan theta okay so theta is nothing but tan inverse d that we will use so here x can be uh, i mean can be a brief into this is 1 plus tan square 1 plus tan square theta right upon 1 plus tan square theta this is nothing but cos 2 theta this is value of cos 2 theta okay so differentiating it this is in terms of theta so if i express this theta into okay or it could be done directly with the sensation assumption let me take ps d theta first we have to find out then theta can be expressed in terms of only okay in tan theta oh, sorry theta can be expressed in tan inverse d okay so first let me take this cos theta is minus sin theta into 2 <coughs> okay so this is minus 2 sin theta into cos theta into 2 that means 4 minus 4 sin theta cos theta okay it let me reach up to this point final answer what will be there that can be substituted then we will okay uh, divide them so let me take this dx d theta is 4 sin theta cos theta nothing else and d y is here 2 tan theta divided by 1 plus tan square theta this is nothing but sin 2 theta so differentiating y with respect to theta okay differentiating here y is expressed in terms of theta so we can find out d by d theta is cos 2 theta into 2 okay so now let me divide them by this one so this is this can be written as 2 cos square theta yeah 2 into 2 of 2 into cos square theta minus sin square theta if i write that in terms of cos 2 theta is cos 2 theta minus sin 2 theta and 2 say 2 is multiplied by this one now this is second question dividing second by first now dividing I am taking this another root dividing second by first b of a okay d by ds is d by d theta probably dx d theta first finally we have to express in terms of t only for answer is in t okay so <coughs> this is d by d theta that is root cos square theta minus sin square theta divided by 4 sin theta into cos theta with minus sin here we have let me express here so they are therefore d by dx is this in, this in terms of theta cos square theta divided by 4 sin theta cos theta that means minus 1.2 okay, minus sin cos square theta divided by sin theta cos theta 1 cos theta cancel out minus this is okay minus this is sin square theta so you are taken out of this side 1 sin theta cos theta this sin theta is cancel out ok so minus 1.2 so now I have to write it down cos theta upon sin theta that means cot theta minus this is tan theta ok now I have to express this in terms of tan theta 
because we assumed this theta, tan theta, ds tan theta. If I express this tan theta, then we can express this in terms of t only. So then we can obtain it as minus 1 to minus 2. Okay. So that was our super element. E square minus 1.2 okay, it can be there then. It is cot theta means 1.10 theta. It's minus 10 theta. Okay, this is minus 1.2. 10 theta is t. So 1.t minus t is nothing but minus sine 1 minus t square upon 2t. So multiply by minus sine we obtain t square minus 1. On 2t, this is the answer given. t square minus 1 upon 2t. We have to prove this 10th question. t by dx is equal to this t square minus 1 upon 2t. So hence it is good. So okay, so anyway, we could directly differentiate it with respect to t. There was no any misconception. It could also be obtained by the direct method. Okay, or assume in terms of theta that we have assumed as here. Now, 11th question is 12th question. Let me solve them also. Here, if x is under root, with that a sine inverse t, okay, and y is under root a to the power 1 minus cos inverse t. Okay, no problem. Cos inverse t. Where a is greater than 0 and minus 1 less than t less than 1. Okay. And so that d by dx is equal to minus y upon x. Okay, this we have to prove. Or show that. Prove that d by dx is minus y upon x. Okay. So it can be done in two ways. Let me. Okay, solve the easiest way first. Okay, so there are two ways to solve this question. Either making square of these two questions, so square root will be cancelled out. So then, now let me write here a squaring, sorry, a squaring these equations we get or on a squaring these equations we get. This is x square equal to a raised power sine inverse t.